All right, ladies, so y'all know when I'm in the bathroom, it goes down. It's time to get into the goodies and talk about some skincare. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are returning, hey, girl. So in today's video, y'all, I'm sharing with you products that I use on an everyday basis to keep my face flawless. Well, flawless to me and keep my skin buttery soft. I'm also gonna share tips on how I use those products to just make it work for my advantage, y'all. This video is geared towards women over 30 because you know, after 30, baby, your body starts doing some strange things, right? We gotta, we gotta keep it popping, right? So let's get right into the video without further ado. All right, I'm gonna start off with my Kiehl's Deep Cleaning Calendula Foaming Face Wash. I love this, I've been using this for a long time. It's just really gentle to my skin. They have a lot of natural products in here. Um, before I put this on, I just wet my face with some lukewarm water since I am washing my face in the sink and not in the shower today. And I'm just trying to get all over, get in between those eyelids, but at the same time, I'll take your girl's eyelashes out. And this is an exfoliator that I love to use by Dr. Brandt. Everything will be linked Below. I'm not going to do that today, but I just want to show you what I use as ex a good exfoliator that really gets your skin really, really bright and even. So now I'm just rinsing off my face wash, and I think I'm almost drowning myself, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good. I'm still alive at the end of this video. I'm going to pat down my face dry. Um, I usually let it air dry because I like to keep the moisture in my face and towels takes the moisture out of your face in case you guys didn't know. Next up, I'm going to do this Biore strip. I don't know why it was turned around, but it's just a standard Biore strip that you can find in Ulta. I have a lot of blackheads on my nose. I mean like more than usual. I don't know because of my skin complexion that you can see them a lot more, but it's a lot. I'm just going to place this over my nose. I'm trying to get the tip as much as possible because those are where most of my black hairs are prominent and I'm gonna let this stay on for a good it says five minutes but I usually let it stay on for ten minutes because I just try to get every single black hair off of my nose as possible because they just look really 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 nasty and while I'm waiting on that I'm just going ahead and brush my little eyelashes and my little wild looking eyebrows yeah so I took this off, took the strip off. I don't know if you guys can see. Not too much came off because I usually do this on a regular basis, but enough came off for today. I'm gonna move on with some butter toner. I have to use toner on my face, it's a must. Um, I just feel like toner gets off all the excess dirt and like just oils or anything that's on my skin. I love a good toner. I'm gonna also place in the description box some other toners that I use. Butter is a black owned brand. I love them. But there are about two others that I use or maybe even three that I rotate between. And I'm gonna link them all below. I also get on my neck, wipe my neck down also. Because you know, you're showing your face some love, you gotta show your neck some love too. Don't make fun of my scarf, y'all. I keep I have to keep the hair protected, okay? Y'all better be glad I didn't have on my bonnet too. All right, I'm gonna go in with some butter vitamin C serum. That's vital for my skin because I have very, very, very dry skin. So vitamin C always helps put vitamins and moisture back into my skin. I also use Mario Badashi vitamin C serum. These are the two that I use the most. As you can see, the other one was like basically almost empty. I think vitamin C is extremely necessary for skin over 30 because it helps even out uneven skin tone, little rough textures, fine lines, even acne scars. I mean, it is just a very commonly used and a great practice to use just to have flawless moisturized skin. Okay, so now I'm going in with my CeraVe moisturizing cream. And this is the rich texture version. Let me emphasize that again. It's the rich texture version. This one to me is like maximum moisture for your skin it's very very thick i do not wear this in the summer this is mostly a fall and winter lotion for my face because it is very thick but in the winter i need that extra layer of protection again my skin is just extremely dry all these products you can't tell but they it just it just eats all the products up because it's very dry so pick up some CeraVe. um the next one i'm going to show you i didn't use this today but it's also by butta it's the gentle cleanser is very good and Mario Badashi has this very very good 
cleansing oil that I use. It's very lightweight and it leaves a very non-greasy, fresh, dewy feeling on your skin. Next up, I'm gonna use my Butter Revitalizing Cream. You can use this at night. I'm just gonna add a little bit on <laughs> to the layers of vitamin C and CeraVe that I already have on. It feels really good, but I usually use this at night. So all done with the face. Next up, your girl is gonna take the longest shower ever. I love, I love a good steam shower. Like, I could take a million showers a day, y'all. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Who else spends like the first 10 minutes of their shower making like life decisions? That's me, y'all. I don't know what I was thinking about in this shower, but it was deep. Anyway, um, the two body washes I use are the Mario Badashu HAH Botanical Body Wash and your regular old Gentle Dove. I use the Mario Body Wash. It's, it smells so good, y'all, but it doesn't bother your pH because we have to really wash it the body washes that we use because you know some of them are very triggering to our pH and I'm very serious about that so I really don't deviate from these two soaps at all. It's so funny doing these videos y'all because like I cannot take myself too seriously and then I'm like straight up looking at my chicken legs looking at myself wash up my chicken legs <laughs> in the shower but anyway I'm gonna exfoliate I have these exfoliation gloves y'all if y'all don't have a pair of these you are really, really missing out. It really helps you exfoliate every single part of your body. They feel rough at first, but once you get used to them, like you will have the best exfoliation experience ever. I got these from Ulta. I'm gonna link everything down below. I usually replace these mm, maybe about once every two months because I'm really rough on these because I use them a lot. So they get kind of worn out, but you'll love them. So if you follow my channel, you guys know that I have like a secret obsession with all beauty products and exfoliators and scrubs is no exception. I'm starting off with this Tree Hut scrub. I have a thousand of them, but I'm going to use the vitamin C and I love to mix them. And I'm going to use this Josie Moran. I love, love, love her brand. I'm going to mix it up with hers because, oh my God, her sugar scrub bomb is like, is like heaven. It just puts this extreme glow on my skin afterwards i'm gonna use this also this is the tree hut sugar scrub shave prep i'm gonna prep my legs with these and my underarms if you want to shave like a good clean shave this is what you need and also i follow it up by oil so you exfoliate first with that and then you put the shave oil wherever you're going to shave and it gives you a really nice clean smooth shave i really hate shaving y'all i really try to get waxed as much as possible but you know it's just not always possible to run to the salon and get waxed all the time but the tree hut products really make it much easier on my skin because i have really really sensitive skin so those products work for shaving i'm just exfoliating away all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and shave. I'm using those two products that I mentioned. So uh, the shave oil is just really, it's an oil, but I feel like sometimes it goes on like a cream. You just spread it all over wherever you're gonna shave. Do not miss an inch and it feels really good and like slimy. I don't know, it's like ASMR. So I'm gonna go ahead and shave my little hairy legs. I swear, my I can shave today and like in 12 hours, it's gonna be the same amount of hair it was before I shave. I'm just like the super hairiest person that I know. Now ladies, I would love to promote <laughs> getting your legs waxed and everything. It's kind of pricey, but I feel like it's more gentle on your skin. It may be painful in the moment, but overall I think it's way better for your skin instead of putting a razor to your skin. So these products that I'm showing you that I use are just really good to help combat some of the side effects of, sh of shaving. Next up, I call this like my secret weapon. It looks like a cheese grater. <laughs> I'm gonna put it down below. I found this on Amazon not too long ago. I'm a stickler for a good pedicure, but in between pedicures, you know, we have like those little pieces of dead skin on our feet. Like, uh-uh, I don't like that. So every other shower, maybe like every three days, I'll do this just to get the dead skin off. It works really, really well. It gives me that like, I still have a good pedicure feeling because I don't like to walk around feeling any type of dead skin on my feet. I like my feet buttery soft and this helps keep me 
soft and skin free in between pedicures. All right, so this is the post shave smoothing mist that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put this on my legs. What this does is it helps like minimize hair growing back on your legs or underneath your arms. All right, this is one of the most important steps in my skincare routine. I have to oil up. I'm gonna use this Josie Moran and this Shea Butter massage oil. I think it was almond oil. They always have these on sale at Ulta, but I have to oil up. I oil up every inch of my body in the winter time because it just keeps the moisture in my skin and it feels so good. After I do that, I sit in front of the heater for a few minutes because I like all of that to soak in and, you know, just soak into my body. Now I'm going to use <laughs> a little bit of Jergens lotion. It's the lotion for me because I have sensitive skin. If you have sensitive skin, this will work for you as well. I'm going to put it all over after the oil has dried. My body feels so good and moisturized now, y'all. So good. All right, last up, I'm gonna use my Play Pits deodorant. It's organic and it is aluminum free by a black owned brand. You guys gotta try it. It's kind of pasty, but I like it. Keeps me smelling good. Lemon fragrance. You guys should definitely try this. I'm done, y'all. It's time for me to start my day. And until the next video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And I love y'all. Peace.